Institutions that profited off of slavery were everywhere. And the impact of slavery reached virtually every American. I just walked outside my house and I live in the city of Cohoes, and Cohoes' history is defined by the Industrial Revolution and the factories we see here that, that employed all of its citizens. Now these are textile factories, which means they make clothing out of raw cotton. Raw cotton from the American South, picked by enslaved persons, was brought to this original structure. This was built around the 1850s and turned into clothing, like what we wear, cotton clothing. Later on, the, the, the business was so profitable that it expanded into this. And I want to walk down there just to show you how expansive this was. Just look at that. So by the 1870s, after slavery was abolished, all that wealth that cotton gave to this region employed over 3,100 people. So that's one out of every four people living in the city of Cohoes. This company also paid for the housing of all of its 3,000 workers. That's 700 tenement houses, all right? This is my neighborhood, this is where I live. And all of these buildings, these tenements, were built by the factory. And you also have to wonder, the you know, housing was provided for these people, for these workers, they benefited. And always boil it back down. Where did this wealth come from? Where did this privilege come from? Right? This is, this is why we're doing this here. A Catholic church in our community helped built by the factory down the road, which, as you know, earned its wealth from the institution of slavery, as well as the Catholic school right next door. Now, this is a block away from my house. The factory we just visited is at the bottom of the hill. I want to show you what money from this industrial trade could buy. So at the top of this hill lived the uh, man who ran these cotton mills, right? The manager of the factory. That's his mansion. And it stands at the top of the hill here, overlooking the factory. And you know, if you live in the capital region in New York, all of the cities in this area experience that. So the Industrial Revolution, all the factories in Troy, Albany, even up by Boston Spa, Queensbury, many of the textile mills there gathered their wealth from textiles and cotton picked from enslaved persons. So it's much more than just the South, right? The branches of slavery and white supremacy from that really dig deep and ingrain itself in just the surrounding area, even where we live. So that's just, hopefully you've learned uh, a thing or two about the long branches and widespread nature of white supremacy. So yeah, just look, you get a sense of the, the homes. So many of them, all built by this factory. 3,100 people earn their housing from here. Think about that. That's where I live, so I'm benefiting from this as well. See you later.